It's a brisk Saturday and I'm starting with some general housekeeping. Unboxing some cases, I gotta go to the mezzanine, decluttering this area. Labeling shell stock to put up in the racks. Putting away some scrap lumber from the guitar builds. I got our second cord reel hung up, Jim's here. Teaching Bill some of the so, South the Bend. Thing is, you want this space for the cutting tool mm -hmm. not parallel with the workpiece. Okay. Because you don't want to have oh, too yeah, much cutting edge engaged. Otherwise, you're just dragging at yeah. that point, right? Yep. And the same thing on this side. You want to have this clear back here. Picking up all the tables, kind of getting ducks in a row. Primary goal for 2022 is to catch up on all those customer orders do some cost analysis, raise prices, start saying no to some BS jobs, try to get a cash flow, get into more retail, try to be, you know, adults. Not optimal, but acceptable. Cleaned up some of the pet projects, squeaked out another storage shelf. Customer shelves cleaned up. Class is still in session over here. Started spraying clear on these hoops for the Rogers kick. Dries pretty quick. Figure I can lay down two or three coats. That's for the inlay. Depth stop. Is that a hose clamp for a depth spot? <laughs> yeah, because I, I haven't been able to find the nut for this thing. Oh. I've been looking for a long time, but it's a really weird size. I've even gone on websites that like just do delta parts and is there, just... a, is there a flat? You could just use a uh, like a collar with a set screw maybe. Oh yeah, that would work too. That'd probably be better actually. Get this fits around. When the holes are like exactly the right size, then if the plate oh freaking nailed it. Let's see how I did. Successfully defacing history. We are in the throes of Fiddlyville. Fiddly diddly. I've masked off these hoops so that I can put the VHB in there without marring up the paint. I gotta cut it because I don't have any that's the proper width for the dang slot. Press it in with a small putty knife. Bill's fiddling with layout of some practice pads. What do you got? Going three different, oh, three different flavors of snares. Yeah, I forgot I gotta put the snares on this. So yeah, we're going with heavy gauge, um, kind of light gauge, and all the way light gauge. Oh, so you gotta soak them. Yeah. Well, these heavier ones, once they're once they're wet, they won't fit through the holders because um, they expand too much. So you gotta <laughs> ask me these, how I know. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> So these you got to put uh, while they're while they're still dry. You put them on, and then just throw them in the water with these things attached. Um, but these can just go in the water as they are. Mm. Bill has further fueled his tool addiction. Yep. With, you know, the things keep getting heavier. That That's the problem. Yeah, that is very much accurate. Uh, let's see if this works. Okay. 
I'm gonna break this down a little more. I mean, it's definitely cool. Yeah, it's a precision lazy Susan for a mill. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't like going that way. Whoa! Peeler! Yep. That's good to know. Oh yeah, that'll buff out. <laughs> Nobody's gonna see this, so... <laughs> I said into a camera. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that really chewed that up for real. Been pretty uneventful on the video front today. I'm really phoning it in. <laughs> I had to scrape this inlay banding to get the adhesive off. It's curled, fighting it to get it to adhere even with VHB. It's really not in the greatest shape. I broke it one or two or five times. Bill's trying to change the blade on this thing, which seems all seized up. It's gonna be a dedicated reinforcement ring, scarf cutter, my bob. Yeah, that's the idea. And the fence is looking pretty cool. Um, but if I can't put a better blade on this thing, it's not going to work. We did get the spurs on the kick, did get the snares on this thing. So we've made some progress on drums. Yeah. Two Steve Weiss sprayed again. Yep. This guy have to wait. Sorry, buddy. Those drums all need Odie's oil, but we are all out. Oh yeah, we're tapped on Odie's oil. Uh, there should be more in here next week, so we can hit those then. Shit.